Hello. In this video, uh, we'll talk about parity of integers and then prove result 3.27, which says that uh, 3m plus 5n is even if and only if m and n are of the same parity. So first off, parity of integers. We say two integers are of the same parity if they are either both even or both odd. Um, now, if one is even and the other's odd, then we say they're of opposite parity. So, for instance, if m is equal to 3 and n is equal to 2, these would be opposite parity. One is even and one is odd. If I had m equal to 0 and n equal to 4, this would be same parity. They're both even. Or alternatively, maybe I have m equal to negative 1 and n equal to 3. Then negative 1 is odd, right? I can write it as 2 times 0, uh, or 2 times negative 1 plus 1. That's an odd integer. It's 2 times negative 1 plus 1. And n is, would be 2 times 1 plus 1. So these would both be odd and we'd say that these are the same parity. So this is a pretty natural place to use cases. If I want to show something about two integers having the same parity implies something else, well, I have two natural cases. Uh, either they're both even or they're both odd. So let's take a look at this result. Let m and n be two integers. I want to show that 3m plus 5n is even if and only if m and n are the same parity. So are both even or both odd. All right. So this is an if and only if. So we have two statements to prove. We have the forward direction and the backward direction. So let me write these both out and we'll come up with a proof strategy for each of these. So the forward direction here would be 3m plus 5n is even, or I'll say if, if 3m plus 5n is even, then m and n are of the same parity. That's the forward direction. Sorry, let me zoom out a little bit. And then the backwards direction, let me shrink this down actually. And then the backwards direction would be uh, if m and n are of the same parity, then 3m plus 5n is even. And I'll shrink this one down too. So there's my forward and backward directions. We want to come up with a proof strategy for each of these. So let's see here. We'll look at the, first, the forward direction first. Here, my assumption would be that 3m plus 5n is even. Now, I don't have a lot to work with there, right? I'd be able to write 3m plus 5n equal to 2k, and I'd want to show that m and n are either both even or both odd. That seems like a difficult task. So this forward direction is, let's think about it in the contrapositive. If you get in this case where, oh, it doesn't seem like we really have a leg to stand on, try the contrapositive. So the contrapositive of this forward direction would be m and n are not of the same parity. That means they're of opposite parity. m and n are of opposite parity. Uh, let me put if at the beginning of this. If m and n are of uh, opposite parity. Opposite. Oppositive. What am I thinking? Opposite parity. then 3m plus 5n is not even, so it's odd. So that's what I would be wanting to show in the forward direction here by doing contrapositive. So we're going to use, we're going to do proof by contrapositive for the forward direction. The backwards direction we can do directly. We'd be able to assume m and n are of the same parity, then 3m plus 5n is even. Now look at this. We'd be assuming m uh, and n are of the same parity. So there's two cases here to consider. We'll have case one, 
M and N are both even. And then we'll be able to write them as 2K and 2L and hopefully show 3M plus 5N is even. And case two, M and N are both odd. So this one, the backwards direction, we're going to do by cases. And now back over to the contrapositive, I'll be assuming M and N are of opposite parity. And there's two cases there as well. So the contrapositive, we're doing a proof by contrapositive with a proof by cases in it. Um, so if M and N are of opposite parity, there's two cases here, right? M is even and n is odd, uh, sorry, let me say case one, m is even and n is odd, and case two, uh, m is odd and n is even. There would be our two cases there. So we really have kind of, if you think about it, four results that we're gonna show. The backward direction, we're gonna have these two cases, the forward direction, we're gonna have these two cases. Let's prove it. So remind ourselves of the thing we're going to prove again. Um, 3m plus 5n is even if and only if m and n are of the same parity. Let's handle the forward direction first. So proof. So forward direction. And we're going to do this by contrapositive. So we're assuming m and n are of opposite parity. Now, as we discussed, there's two cases for this. I might type this one out. So case one, M is even and N is odd. And let's handle this case first. Um, in this case, we can say m is equal to 2k for some integer k, and n is equal to, I don't want to say 2k because then that puts the added assumption that m is equal to n, so rather I would say n is equal to 2l for some integer l. I don't know, pick your favorite two. You could use a and b here. Just make sure they're different. And remember, I want to show that 3m plus 5n is odd here. So 3m plus 5n is 3 times m is 2k, and then 5n, n is 2l, plus 5 times 2l. So this gives me 6k plus 10l. I want to show that... 3m plus 5n is odd. Well, that doesn't make sense. This is certainly seeming like it's going to be even. So I have made some kind of mistake here. It seems like this is even. Maybe you've already caught my mistake. Let's retrace our steps and see where I went wrong. Let's make sure the uh, the contrapositive was written correctly. So 3m plus 5n is even. Uh, if, if 3m plus 5n is even then M or N are of the same parity. Here we're assuming they're of opposite parity. And then we want to show that 3M plus 5N is odd. So what did I do wrong here? It's a little bit, this reminds me of like Dora the Explorer, although I can't hear you, right? So I have to say, like, oh, can you find the mistake? Where is it? It's somewhere on the page. Point to it. Uh, something silly like that. Um, anyway, I found it. What did I do wrong? Well, I was supposed to assume n was odd, and here I've written n as 2l, so I've assumed n is even. So that, that doesn't make sense. I need to rewrite my l. This should be 2l plus 1, uh, where l is an integer. Cool, we've corrected that mistake. Let's retrace our steps. I don't have to erase everything. I just need to substitute. When I substituted 2L plus 1, and I needed to fix that. All right, so let's see. Now, this is 6K plus 10L plus 5. Oh, this is looking better. Uh, I want to write this. Uh, I want to show that this is odd, so I want to write this as twice something plus 1. So what I'll do is I'll split up this 5 plus 4 plus 1, 
and I can factor out a 2 out of this first part, 3k plus 5l uh, plus 2. And then I still have this plus 1 hanging around. So 3k plus 5l plus 2, this is an integer. And so I'll say hence 3m plus 5n is um, odd. Cool, that's what I wanted to show in case one. Let's take care of case two. M is odd and N is even. Now I'm gonna try and make sure not to do the same mistake that I did last time. Then M is equal to 2K plus one. Again, I can reuse K now because I'm in a totally different case for an integer K and we'll say n equals 2k, uh, nope, that would be wrong, 2l for an integer l. And we'll do the same thing. So 3m plus 5n is equal to 3 times 2k plus 1 plus 5 times 2l. So that's 6, oops. Sometimes I think one thing and my hand does another. 6k plus 3 plus 10l. Uh, it looks like I can, the 6k and the 10l, I can factor a 2 out of that. Maybe I'll split this 3 into 2 and 1. So I'll write this as uh, 6k plus 10l plus 2 plus 1. And factor out the 2. So 2 times 3k plus 5l plus one, plus one out here. So this is an integer, hence 3m plus 5n is odd. So in either case, I've shown that 3m plus 5n is odd, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. So that's the forward direction. Let's take care of the backwards direction now. Let's remind ourselves what the statement is and what we're trying to show. So we're trying to show if m and n are the same parity, then 3m plus 5n is even. We're doing this one directly. And we're breaking it down into these two cases because m and n being of the same parity means they're either both even or both odd. So backwards direction, assume 3m plus 5n, <clears throat> uh, sorry, no, assume m and n are of the same parity, are uh, of the same parity, then uh, we have cases. So let's say case one, M is even and N is even. And what can we do now? We can say then M equals 2K for some integer K and N equals 2K for some integer K. They're both even. Oh, careful. We need a different variable here, 2L for some L. So, and remember I want to show 3M plus 5N is even. So this will be 3 times 2K, that's 6K, 5 times 2L, that's 10L. So this is 2 times 3K plus 5L. 3k plus 5l is an integer, uh, hence 3m plus 5n is even. Cool. Let's do case 2 now. What if they're both odd? <clears throat> well, then we can write m equal to 2k plus 1, 
for some integer k, and n equal to 2l plus 1 for some integer l. So 3m plus 5n is equal to 6k plus 3, 3m, and then 5n would be 10l plus 5. And let's see, let's simplify this a little bit. That's 6k plus 10l plus 8. So that's 2 times 3k plus 5l plus 4. That's an integer. Hence, 3m plus 5n is even. All right, that proves it. We had two cases in each direction, and we have established what we wanted to show in each direction. Remember, we did the forward direction by contrapositive and the backwards direction directly, but we still had two cases for each. This is probably the longest proof we've seen yet. We'll see some longer ones, but uh, this one takes a little bit. None of the steps are too difficult. They should be seeming routine by now, or maybe if you haven't practiced yet, maybe it's not quite routine, but once you practice this even and odd business should start to seem very routine to you, which, and that's a really good sign. That means you're getting the, the hang of this. Um, so again, yeah, each little case was pretty, pretty easy, pretty routine. Um, but the trick was to split it up into these, all of these cases. All right, that's it for this video. See you next time.